Totoo nga ba na mahina na si Pope Benedict at sabi ng Vatican ay namili na rin siya kung saan siya ililibeng? Totoo nga ba ito? Hi, my name is Adrian Milag and welcome again to my vlog. Uh, may, medyo hindi magandang balita na naman ang lumabas na according to Vatican, very frail na raw si Pope Benedict XVI at uh, he is suffering from a disease right now. Not so good news for us, especially tayo mga Katoliko. And after all, lahat ng mga nangyaring, uh, mga hindi magandang pangyayari ngayong 2020, eh meron na namang hindi magandang balita regarding uh, dito kay Pope Benedict at nilabas to ng Vatican. Nakita ko tong balita na to na nilabas na article ng Church Pop. As one body of Christ, let's continue to pray for Pope Benedict. Kung ano man plan ni Lord sa kanya, I believe that Pope Benedict fight the good fight, di ba? Actually, he, he has already finished the race eh. At tatapusin niya na yung final mission niya dito sa mundo. And not bad, he is already 93, 94 years old, di ba? He served God really well, di ba? At naging Pope pa siya. What a privilege. At ang dami niyang naambag sa Catholic Church, yung mga teachings niya, mga interpretations niya, yung wisdom niya na binahagi niya sa atin, theological reasoning niya, mga inspiration niya sa ating mga katoliko. And whatever plan uh, ni Lord kay Pope Benedict, kung tatagal man siya ng isang taon pa, dalawang taon, o tatlong taon, whatever it is, I know that God has a better plan for uh, Pope Benedict. Diba? That he fought the good fight and he will finish the race. He will finish his mission and purpose dito sa mundong to. Kaya let's continue to pray for Pope Benedict. Sabi dito sa article na nilabas ng Church Pop, um, Pope Benedict XVI suffering painful disease and very frail chooses burial location. Sabi sa Vatican that he is suffering from a painful disease and according to Pope biographer na si Peter Stewart, yung updated na information regarding Pope Benedict na not serious naman daw yung condition niya pero nga sobrang mahina na siya at syempre pag ikaw matanda na diba, uh, kahit ano pang sakit yung, yung meron ka iniinda mo na to kasi nga mahina ka na eh imagine niyo diba guys, 93 years old na si Pope Benedict dumadaan talaga siya ng uh, acute pace of a painful but not serious disease Matanda ka na, kahit anong sakit, iinday mo talaga. According to German reports, the Pope has a facial erysipelas. Isa tong bacterial infection that cause painful red rashes. But it is easily treatable. But yun nga, syempre, pag matanda ka na, talagang iinday mo to. So, sabi nung uh, biographer ni Pope, Franz, ni Pope Benedict na si Peter Sewald, Noong ano daw, nagsimula raw to, nung uh, kinita ni Pope Benedict yung kapatid niya, yung kamamatay lang na kapatid niya dun sa Germany. ba So, dun nagsimula daw yung, yung pagiging mahina ni, ni Pope Benedict nung after nung visit, nung visit niya na yun. According to him that Pope Benedict is very frail, his voice is barely audible. Sobrang hina na talaga. But he added that the Pope remains in good spirit. Diba? Kasi nga, matatag yung, panin, yung pananampalataya niya sa Diyos. Nandun pa rin naman syempre yung faith niya. Diba? Kasi nga, naging Pope siya. Ito yung medyo, ano, diba, talagang sabi natin na kalungkot na si Pope Benedict daw namili na rin ng punsan siya lilibeng. Siguro na nararamdaman niya na rin na malapit na nga. Pinili niya daw sa may dating pinaglibingan ni St. John Paul II sa may St. Peter's Basilica. Yun daw yung magiging burial place niya. Kasi nga, di ba, after ng canonization ni Pope John Paul II, nilipat yung katawan niya uh, sa Upper Basilica 
Okay? So, after ng canonization niya in 2014. But, Pope Benedict also wrote a spiritual testament to be published after his death. Gusto niya talaga magbigay ng, ng magandang uh, ending sa buhay niya. At ito yung teaching na ibibigay niya after his death. I know that this spiritual testament will be full of wisdom at maraming mabibless dito. So, a prayer for Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI. Lord, source of eternal life and truth, give to your shepherd a spirit of courage and right judgment, a spirit of knowledge and love by governing with fidelity to those entrusted to his care, May he, as successor to the Apostle Peter and Vicar of Christ, build your church into a sacrament of unity, love, and peace for all the world. Amen. So, as one body of Christ, let's pray for Pope Benedict. Father in heaven, we lift up to you our dearest Pope Benedict XVI. We pray, Lord, for your grace to sustain him. Lord, we pray for your Um, mercy upon him, Lord. We pray that you that you continue to fill him with the Holy Spirit, so that whatever his final mission dito sa mundo to, may you continue to guide him. May may you continue to use him, Lord, in a very special way. We believe, Lord, na sobrang grateful ka for having Pope uh, Benedict to be your servant. And Lord, I believe that he already fulfilled his mission and purpose sa mundo to. And that's why we offer him, we offer him up to you. We surrender him to you, into your mighty hands. Sa uh, moment ng suffering niya, because of uh, panghihina niya, because sa sakit niya ngayon, that you are embracing him, that through his suffering, dun ka mas nakakapit sa kanya. Through his suffering, pinaparamdam mo sa kanya yung grasya mo. Pinaparamdam mo sa kanya yung presensya mo. Be with him right now. Mama Mary, we lift up to you, Pope Benedict XVI. Continue to pray for him. We believe that he is a role model for us because he fight the good fight and he will finish his race to fulfill his final mission here on earth. And we lift him up to you. All this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So, after ng vlog na to, make sure na i-check mo din yung iba ko pang vlog dito sa may video section. And by the way, I invite you to grab your copy of my latest ebook, Live Your Life to the Fullest. Para magkaroon ka ng copy ng ebook na to, pwede mong i-click yung join button sa baba ng video na to. Or meron akong ilalagay na link dito sa may comment section. I-click mo lang yung link na yun at magkakaroon ka ng access sa aking ebook na Live Your Life to the Fullest. So, thank you. God bless you more abundantly. So, that's it. Thank you for watching this video. I hope na na-bless at na-inspire ka dito sa aking vlog. Make sure na i-like mo at mag-comment ka sa baba ng video na to. At mag-subscribe ka sa aking YouTube channel para lagi ka updated sa mga bagong vlog na gagawin ko. At huwag mo din kakalimutan na i-like ang aking page. So this been Adrian Milag, encouraging you to live your life to the fullest. God bless you more abundantly.